Now our series, It's a New Day, in association with Parade Magazine. We're joined this morning by Janice Kaplan. She's editor of Parade Magazine and here with a week-long, one day at a time, happiness challenge. Good to have you with us this morning. My pleasure. And especially at this time when so many people are reflecting on the situation in Haiti, we could probably all use a little something to, to, to have something uplifting in our lives each day. That's right. And you know, um, we tend to think of happiness in the wrong way. We tend to wait for some great, wonderful event that's going to occur. And we forget that aside from a horrible situation like what's going on in Haiti, so much of happiness really is in our control. And we can take the small steps that will make ourselves happier. And we really are responsible for it. So you have a step-by-step -step guide for this week. So we could do it Monday through Friday this week. Starting out with Monday, you say the first thing to focus on today as we kick off this new week is a positive attitude. That's right. And you'd, you'd be surprised what a difference that can make. So much research shows that it's really not the circumstances or events of your life that make a difference in how happy you are, but how you approach them, what your attitude is. So today, when you're standing in that long line at the grocery store, when you're frustrated at the post office, don't let yourself get irritated. Do something positive. Say something friendly to the person in front of you, or be cheerful when you finally get to that <laughs> clerk. And the whole mood will change. You know, my husband and I were at an airport recently, one of those awful situations where you're waiting and waiting. He started telling me funny stories. We spent an hour laughing. Instead of looking back at that as, oh, wasn't that awful? We look at, look at it as a great moment. It definitely makes the time pass a lot quicker right. as well when you're laughing and not thinking about how terrible right. it is. You also say it's so important to focus on one task at a time, but we are a nation, it seems, of multitaskers. Well, stop it, because <laughs> we all think we can multitask, but you know what? It actually doesn't work. Again, the research shows that we're actually more productive as well as a whole lot happier and calmer when we do one thing at a time. So whether you're at work or home, focus on one thing. If you're cooking dinner, cook dinner, you know, and also have to email and listen to the radio and, and do 10 other things too. It's a novel concept. I'm right. going to have to try that one. Uh, <laughs> Wednesday, I love this. You say make a date. And it doesn't necessarily have to be with your spouse or your partner. It can be with anybody who makes you feel good. Right. You know, if you look back on all the times that you were happiest, they probably involved good friends or they involved people that you love. So why not do that more often? Why not find the people who lift your spirits, who make you happy? And again, face to face, not Facebook, not Twitter, sit down with somebody who's going to make you happy. Share a cup of coffee. You also say, in terms of things that make you happy, make time for play. Take a lesson from our kids, really. Oh, that's right. So that day, what are we up to? Thursday, do something that's just for you, whether it's puttering in the garden or, uh, or taking a run, something that you realize you can take a positive step that makes you happy. I just read some research that says people who do things that they consider fun on a regular basis are 20 times happier than wow. other people. That's a good number. Go for it. I can, I can handle that. In 20 minutes a day, you say, uh, this, this is really important right now as well. As we do talk about things like Katie, you say, give of yourself. Right. Um, probably the most important thing that you can do is to do things for other people. There are so many advantages to that. It, first of all, it gives you a different perspective on your life. People who volunteer, who donate, really find themselves energized. And again, in a situation like Haiti, when you're feeling so helpless, so out of control, if you do something, you realize that you can make a difference. You can take a step to make a difference. And maybe you'll feel a little gratitude for what you do have, which probably is the definition of happiness. Definitely makes you feel good. Some great tips for every day this week. Janice, great to have you here this morning. Thank, Thank you. you. Our series continues next Sunday in Parade Magazine and then next Wednesday right here on The Early Show.